Mm-hmm. Mm, my day, the barber was a counselor, a fashion expert, style coach, pimp, just general all-around hustler. But the problem with y'all cats today is that you got no skill. Hey, yo. Hey yo, what up YouTube, this your boy RC Crispy and I'm back at y'all with another video and this time I'm adding a little commentary. So I'm going to start the service off applying some Gillette shaving gel. This is going to soften up the hair, also moisturize the skin. Next I'm going to add a nice steamy hot towel across the area where I applied the gel. Nowadays we call shaving cream shaving cream back in the day most barbers called the shaving cream lather now lather what it does is it cleans it serves as a soap it cleans the skin it strips the skin of the dirt and oil so a lot of times nowadays on videos you see barbers using shaving cream or shaving gel on the forehead before doing a lineup also you're moisturizing the skin so you're not risking tearing the skin when using that blade going across the skin now by me using this hot towel like I said before it's moisturizing the skin even more not only that it's relaxing the client if you look at my client right now he's super relaxed might even be sleep right now and this is just another service that's just gonna keep your client coming back So now I'm going to take my small soft brush and begin to brush upwards against the eyebrows. That's going to cause the hairs to raise up so that the hairs that I need to shave off are visible. So everything I'm doing here is just preparing me for the lineup itself. You always want to prepare first. You don't want to just grab the blade and just start going in at it. You want to clean your area and prep so right now I'm grabbing a towel I'm gonna place it on my client's shoulder I'm gonna use that towel to wipe off any excess hair that gets my blade and if you've been to barber school, you know that they tell you there is a proper way to set up for a shave. Uh, you put that towel across the client's chest um, to have access to be able to wipe off your blade. So I started off the shaping up process or the shaving process and I'm using the edge of that blade I'm stretching the skin, making sure the skin is taut. In other words, I'm making sure that the skin is tight so that way that blade can glide across the skin without cutting the skin or me dragging the skin with the blade, not causing any injuries. Now, as I'm using my razor, I'm also going to keep my blade at a 45 degree angle. And you want to take your time, move slowly through this process. Uh, this is a sensitive area. So please take your time, safety first. Now right here, I'm using another shaving position. I'm using a reverse backhand position. You don't see a lot of barbers on YouTube 
uh, using this position for a reason I have no idea but this is a basic ham position that you use when shaving there are at least four shaving ham positions um, this is one of them so the four hand positions are free hand reverse free hand backhand and reverse backhand and you'll probably see me use all four during this service So right here, I'm preparing to use a reverse freehand shaving position. So instead of me stroking down with the blade, I'm stroking up with the blade, which is why we're calling it a reverse freehand. And notice also, I have my thumb always behind that blade. This is a safety precaution, keeps me from cutting my thumb with that blade. You always want to keep your hand away from the blade. You do not want to get cut or bitten by that shark. Now, as I'm shaving underneath the eye, I'm holding the eyelid, I'm pulling the eyelids down. I'm not pressing down on my eyelid, causing uncomfort to the client. Also, I'm using light, light, light strokes underneath the eye. This is a very sensitive area skin is a lot thinner in this area so you must must be careful please take great precaution here
Now, pretty much the same thing I do for my lineups. I'm gonna take my barber pencil and I'm gonna highlight those areas where I lined up. That's gonna bring out the eyebrows even more and give it a cleaner appearance. And now as one last final touch, I'm gonna go over it one more time with my trimmers. Alright y'all, that was the final cut. Thank y'all for watching. You can find me on other social media platforms, RC Crisp Cuts on Instagram. I'm also on TikTok at RNXT18. If you're in the Philly area and you want to book me for my barbering services, you can find me on Booksy as RC Crispy Cuts. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all next time. Peace.